fam what is good so to start off this haircut we want to go ahead and grab our three guard and with this all we're trying to do is deep walk and give ourselves a nice clean canvas um to start this fade but with this three guard i'm not going in aimlessly and just taking hair off i'm trying to create the shape of the haircut which is a mid drop fade so i'm trying to drop it towards the back i want to make sure that i'm leaving weight along the parietal ridge and crown area as you can see so I'm being careful not to go too high here. And you'll see that I'm really exaggerating that flick out motion. I don't want to create any harsh line. And now we're going to get into the fade. So we're going to start right where the eyebrow kind of ends. And then we're going to drop uh, slope it around his ear and drop it in the back. So you'll see I started on the side and then I went to the back and I'm going to connect those two points in the middle, right? Because if I were to continue to follow that line that I was creating from the side to the back without stopping, I risk the chance of it um, being uneven on both sides of, you know, the mid fade. So I want to establish my line on, on the sides and then go to the back and meet it in the middle. So I have a nice symmetrical drop. And now we're going to go ahead and bought everything out with our trimmer, get it nice and close. And I'm being careful to let that weight of the trimmer do the work here. I don't want to cause any redness or irritation. And you can see just by the shape of this first guideline that if we follow our steps well, that this blend is going to come out really nice. And overall, the shape of the haircut will be nice, right? And now we're going to follow it up with the shaver just to get it a little closer to the skin and really make that fade pop and last a little longer. And I'm not pressing too hard with this either. And now we're going to come in with the lever all the way open on my JRLs and we're going to follow that line and we're going about a thumbs width here. And I would say that's equivalent to a full inch. But we're going to do this all the way around the head. But with on, in this video, I'm only going to show one side because what you learn on one side, you can just apply to the other. So I'm dropping it towards the back here. And you'll see me go over the line a few times just to make sure that it's truly open. And now I'm going to go ahead and close that lever and tap at that line. And then as I move up within this guideline, You'll see me go ahead and open up that lever like I did right here. And we're going to gradually open that until we get all the way open. And then by the time that we get there, this line should be blended out. And yes, my trimmers and my clippers are zero gapped. But as you can see, we'll, we'll inch up kind of, you know, like notch by notch until we get this line blended out. And so far it's coming together very nicely and now we're gonna follow that up with our one guard all the way open and just like we did with the lever open we're gonna go up about a thumbs width and we're gonna maintain that shape that drops keep it real clean real simple not over complicating it and now right above that one open we're gonna grab our two guard open and the difference with this two guard is I don't want to create any harsh line. This is kind of going to come right under that three guard that we debulked with. So I'm trying to come off the shape of his head here. And now right under that two guard open, we're going to grab our one and a half guard open. And we're going to attack this line, right? So we'll come in open, but if open doesn't do the job, I'll go ahead and gradually close that lever until this line is blended out as I did right there. But you always wanna start off open when taking out a line because you don't wanna take off too much hair um, cause you can't put it back on, right? But if you don't take off enough, you can always just close the lever and take off more. So it's better to be safe than sorry. But as you can see, um, it's coming together nicely. This line is starting to get blended out. And now right under that, we're gonna come in with our half guard all the way open. 
and then just like we did with that one and a half we're gonna come in open and if it isn't doing the job if it isn't getting rid of that line fully um we'll go ahead and close that lever And you'll see, man, I'm just working with this half guard, trying to detail this blend to the best of my ability, especially in the back, because the back has a lot of indentations and crevices, um, just due to how the head is and the bone that is in the back. So I'm really detailing, opening and closing that lever as needed. And then right here, I went ahead and took off that half guard and I'm coming in with the blade open. And I'm using the corner of the blade just to get into those dark areas. And now for clip rover comb, I'm going to come in with my flat top comb and then flare out slightly. So I'm going to show you guys again, come in, flare out slightly. And now I'm going to come in with the lever open and any hair sticking out of the comb, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. Um, and something that helped me when learning how to do clip rover comb is if you lay that comb flat against the head and do exactly what I'm doing here, it is equivalent to a number one guard. So that can help you kind of gauge... Um, how much hair you'll take off when doing clipper over a comb but as you can see it blended into the top a lot better so i'm doing the same on the side and now we're going to come in to soften it up with our thinning shears especially in the back i saw some weight that i wanted to kind of clean up and get rid of but as you can see man this blend is coming together but now we're gonna get into his arch lineup. So we're gonna start at the top of his arch and then we're gonna go to the bottom and connect those two points in the middle. And that is gonna give us that nice round shape without you know digging into it too much. And then it grow back with that pushback lineup, right? Cause we don't want that. And this is about all we're gonna line up on this haircut. He doesn't line up the front, just the arches. Keep it real simple, real clean. And we're doing the same thing on this side. And now we're going to hit that with the razor. Kind of make that line pop. Get rid of all the stubbles that we couldn't get with the trimmer. But as you can see, man, this haircut is simple. We're not going to style it. It's just a nice mid drop fade, low drop fade, whatever you want to call it. But I think it came out clean. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And I will catch y'all next time.